Hey guys, welcome to the Dominate DIY Podcast, episode eight. This one's great. You're gonna learn from the mixed media girl. She has an amazing YouTube channel. She takes acrylics and resin and all kinds of different mediums and art, and she will blow your mind. She's gonna talk with us, share tips and tricks of how she's taken her YouTube channel from zero to 100 plus thousand subscribers in very short time. She has all kinds of great tips to share with us. Stay tuned. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Enjoy the podcast. Hey guys, welcome to the Dominate DIY Podcast. Here we talk about how to dominate your do-it-yourself projects with simple solutions, providing valuable insights to contractors, professionals, and do-it-yourselfers. I'm your host, Mike Quist. Enjoy the podcast. Dominate DIY. Hey guys, Mike here with StoneCoatCountertops.com. I'm with Marcy, the mixed media girl, round two. <laughs> I just screwed up and we did a whole uh, podcast with the wrong microphone. Yeah. That wasn't very good. So Marcy's very kind to do this again. Thank you so much. Of course. I'll try to give just as good answers. <laughs> <laughs> Marcy's amazing. She has a YouTube channel called Mixed Media Girl. And she also has a website and an Etsy store and all kinds of goodies to tell us about. But uh, you have a huge background in art. Yeah. Um, it, it's just always been my passion. And not just painting, but literally every form of art. Um, but yeah, I got started with... a. Uh, Actually, oil paints. Don't ask mm -hmm. me why. I don't really know. But I like the way they blend and how long they took to dry. But then after having a kid, it was a little more impractical. So I started messing around with acrylic. And then that just kind of took off from there. All the, there's tons of things that you can do with acrylic that you can't do with oil. Sure. So, um, yeah, I've, I've been experimenting now for 10 years with acrylic or so. Dang. And I still haven't run out of things to try. <laughs> Yes, so and, and I've seen your videos on doing acrylic pouring. Mm -hmm. it, it is mesmerizing. You it know? is. It, it is fun. It's so fun. Yeah, so what got you into doing acrylic pours? Honestly, I don't know. I like it, It's one of those, I can't really remember how it started. I just wanted to try it out. And of course, it's like, you need this, 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 this. I was like, okay, well, I have paint and I have water and I have olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first thing I tried, so I mixed those all together. It really did not work well. Okay. No, not uh, at all. It made a big know. mess. <laughs> and I was like, cool, well, that didn't work. You know, and so I tried a couple other things. And and then it, and then it became the experimenting to perfection. Uh -huh. You know, because I it, once I get an idea in my head, I will keep going with it until I actually get it to sure. that. So once I had that idea, I had to try everything. So I tried the Liquitex pouring medium, I tried glue, tried the flow trial, you know, and it took me months to get my um, recipe perfected. I finally did. And then I, was, I just videoed everything the whole way. Yeah. And so as people, People learn on my channel as I learn. Nice. They live vicariously through me That's and my huge. experiments. So. That, that, that's huge you know experimenting is is how you get better you yeah. know and, and that's why we actually started videotaping what we're doing is because you get a really cool piece and then you go how did i make that and and mm -hmm. what did i use and so we like we used to try to write it down but we would get so sticky everywhere you know you can't hold a pencil yeah. on paper it was messy so yeah. we started recording it and then people love that content they know that you're really learning and they get to watch that and so we're going to do some of that tonight yes very cool. I'm going to teach my cut to acrylic pour. We're going to do an acrylic <laughs> pour on our live video. Stone Coat Countertops goes live every Tuesday at 5. And you're going to be live with us tonight. Yes. And you go live every Monday at... Monday, 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. So that's what you were doing last night in Grants Pass mm -hmm. in, at your friend's house. Yeah, after my 12-hour my drive, I ran in the door and I was like, guys, I got to do a video real quick. <laughs> so I just set up in their kitchen. And it was the fastest live video I've ever done, but it was still epic. I made a painting I'm super happy with. Nice. And yeah. So you brought your supplies. You're going to teach me how to do an acrylic pour, and I've never done this before. Catherine's going to be on with us, and we're going to have a blast. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So talk about your other YouTube channel that you're starting. I think it's well, – I'm actually going to steal a little bit Go of your thunder. It. So um, I, I, I'm i an artist myself. I, I make uh, – I do oil paintings. Mm -hmm. I, I love doing oil paintings as a hobby um, just to kind of – it, 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 it 
it actually releases stress you know it's just you totally. can get lost in that painting well uh there's a whole nother side to painting and selling your paintings and your art and it's the business side and i think that's missing like that's hard to figure out as an artist like a roadmap to success so you start a youtube channel based on that is that correct or yeah i mean there's there's really a long history behind it but long story short when i was getting started as an artist like art has always been my passion and so many people will say you can't make a job out of that you can't like that's just a hobby and I never agreed with that I never did and so and anytime I ever had a desk job I was miserable mm -hmm. it would last maybe a couple months and then I'd be like okay I'm out of here <laughs> like I wouldn't actually leave but I would really want to <laughs> anyway so um, I, I started doing all this research and I couldn't really find answers like if you were to look into how do you actually get your art into a gallery mm -hmm. there's not gonna be a finite answer you're not gonna find your you're going to have to figure it all out for yourself. Right. So I started basically figuring this all out. And then I was like, I'm going to write it down for other people. And it just grew from there and became a bunch of other things. But so more recently with discovering how awesome YouTube is and how quickly you can get your message out to as many people as possible, I was Good. I'm going to put everything down in a YouTube channel, which includes such things as how to build a YouTube channel. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and even going into a little bit more of the technical details, like I show literally a screen while I'm setting up a YouTube channel and where to add in your social media links, where to add in your branding, where to add in your upload defaults, you know, just all the things that people don't even know about or right. think about. That's all in there, plus, of course, how to be, how to put together your social media. And then the basics of, like, how to ship a painting. Sure. How to put on your own art show. You know, we, we still have a lot of topics to cover, but already there's a lot of, a lot of good information. And, and all these topics are things that you wish you would have known mm -hmm. when, when you were learning to ship a painting. Yes. And I, I know that you get really good at something when you screw something up because you're like, oh, that didn't work. I got to ship this yep. better, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, I've discovered that if you leave paint in a hot car, it, it, painting, it will stick to things. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you have it up against a piece of cardboard or right. paper, it will be stuck to that. And yes. then, so I will do a video on how to get that off because I learned. That's a good, see, that's awesome. <laughs> that's yes. a really good topic. That's going to come up. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, because, yeah, you mess things up. You don't think about it and... Well, not in, especially if you're shipping across country or to another country, you have to think with the differences in temperatures sure. of the package as it goes along. You're gonna have freezing. You're gonna have really hot. You're gonna have whatever. You know. Right. So yeah, as people, things people don't even necessarily know about, and then of course just the basics, the most asked question: How do you sell art? How do you get people to buy your art? You know, and it's, so that's all. I do my best to cover that, of course, within the best of my knowledge. What's that channel called? The Business of Art. The Business of Art. I love that. I'm, I'm going to go check that out, too. You and you're writing a book. Yeah, I actually wrote a book already on... Uh, it's called Mixed Media Girls Tips for Building a YouTube Channel. I love it. I love <laughs> so it. So it was everything, a culmination of everything I learned within the... Because within my first year, my channel was... Uh, over 80,000 subscribers, had about 7 million views, and I was actually making a decent income off of it. Nice. And that's within one year. And honestly, after six months, I was making a decent income nice. off of it. That's so, huge. Um, yeah, it is really a viable... Your channel has exploded. I mean, you're, and yeah. you're well over 100,000 subscribers now. Yeah. And, and, and I think it's awesome that you're going to share that knowledge with people. Absolutely. So I was like, I just write down everything I know. And, and I try to do... The videos on my channel and this book are both written as like a roadmap. If you start at chapter one and you get through all the chapters, by the end of that book, you'll have... A prosperous channel if you actually did every single step in there yeah. fully you know so and it, of course everyone's gonna apply things differently and they might change something a little differently for their channel or whatever but it works and we talked about you know we talked about how some of the success and the secret sauces be consistent mm -hmm. you know up, up upload often and give your your viewers something that's of value right I mean yeah you, you don't you don't want to just 
uh, share things that are worthless. You've got to have value behind. And, and, I, and I think that's what your channel has exploded on is people want to see how you created that beautiful work of art. Mm -hmm. And they get to watch your failures. They get to watch your successes yes. and, and the whole journey in between. I think that's huge. Yeah. I mean, there are videos that you'll even hear me say in the video, like, I don't know if I'm going to upload this. <laughs> but I try to do it anyways. It's pretty rare that I don't upload a video. I try to do it anyway so you can see my mistakes. Sure. And then I'll say in the video, okay, if I when I do this again, because I always do, when I do it again, I'm going to do this differently, you know, so that you can see of what I found by trying this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so I think that's really important to, to definitely be real, be yourself. And then I was saying, like, just... Don't be afraid. <laughs> when we were messing with the pendulum pour earlier today when you got here, yeah. and we did a black base with a yellow base on top, but the yellow kind of sunk into that black, yeah. and we're both kind of working that out and going, well, what would we do next different and, and start with a, a dry black and then go yellow over mm -hmm. that. And, and, and that's how, but then you turn that piece into something really cool just because you don't press eject button on it. You keep working with it. Yeah. And I think that's a big tip is, and that's kind of what I do with countertop recipes is if I don't like something, just keep working that until you, you'll eventually make it look really nice if you don't e give up on it. You know? Yeah. So I think that's, I think that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, yeah, what's the worst that could happen? You know, is you waste a little bit of paint or a little resin or whatever is really like nothing bad is going to happen. No. You know, really. It's not life and death. It's not. <laughs> so don't worry about it. If, if you get a crazy idea, try it. Yes. You, otherwise, you'll never know. And you, you know, you may discover something super new and cool and whatnot, and, but... Not if you don't try it. So just go for it. Have fun. Yes, you said that. You said you miss 100% of the shots you never yeah, take. Yeah, exactly. I think that was Michael Jordan. Here, right? Probably. Yeah, Michael I don't Jordan. Know. <laughs> but same thing with art, you know? You, yes. You, you miss out on all those opportunities you don't try, all those things you don't try because you're too scared or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, I, I get, it's very common with resin specifically. Yes. People are terrified of resin for some reason. Right. So I, I think that's awesome through my videos. They're getting less scared. I've had a lot of people go, oh my gosh, seeing you do it, I'm going to go give it a try now. And I'm like, good. Like, just get messy. Yes. Have fun. It's you create the most amazing things that you won't create with any other medium, really. And you learned how to make, you did a countertop, you, mm -hmm. you, and how'd that go for you? <laughs> See, I'd go big or go home. Yes, you did. You did. <laughs> I did uh, I did two resin paintings, I think, and then I did a desk. Wow, very cool. Yeah, so I was like, let's do this, right? <laughs> so yes. I did a desk, and that was awesome. And then I was like, cool, let's do some countertops. <laughs> nice, you're um, a pro, you're ready. <laughs> So it was terrifying, and I did make some mistakes, you know, so that once again I learned. I was like, okay, if I did this differently, if I did this again, I'll do this a little differently. Okay. I still got it to a an amazing product. I made sure the client was happy. I was happy. Uh -huh. You know, so we, we did a, have a couple things that we worked over until we were happy with it, and that was okay. Really, what's the worst that could happen? You could sand it and do it over. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so... There was, there's really not a lot of risk involved. You may run out of product and have to order more. That's right. the worst that could happen. Really. Right. Yeah, <laughs> but, that's true. But you could always just do it again. Always. So, yeah, it was a really good experience. And like I said, I learned from it. I know what I would do differently next time, depending on because everyone's counters are different. You know, yeah. the way people's sinks are put in are different. The way, you know. Anyways. We're not going to get into the technicalities of that. You've covered all of that on your videos. We try that, but that's why we keep making you, you, you never run out of ideas. Exactly. And there's just constant ideas and there's constant cool things you can make. And we got a lot of cool things in the works that are coming mm -hmm. out. And, um, you know, we talked about how we, um, as a company, we're gearing a lot of our products towards the needs of our clients. And we have a lot of artists now that are using our stuff. So we're coming up with some new vibrant colors that you've seen. And Yeah. So, I mean, that's a key point too. But that's one of the reasons why I chose working with Stone Coat Countertops versus some of the other resin companies um, in that you do listen to your, you know, the people that use your products and you really take that to heart. You gear, you know, new products around their needs and wants and sure. your customer service is just impeccable. Thank you. And other companies don't have that. So it makes... It's similar to the YouTube concept of it makes you part of the family. Like, I am yeah. part of the Stone Coat Countertops yes. family. Yes, 
You even got the shirt. I do. I walked in the door <laughs> and said, give me shirt. a shirt. <laughs> I, I didn't ask. It. I demanded. Hey, anyway. <laughs> you, you were getting a shirt whether you asked or not. I just didn't want to be too pushy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's it's the same thing. It's People love the sense of community, the family, and and being able to ask questions. Anytime you have any issues, you can call up Stone Coat and ask them, like, what went wrong? Or what do I, how, what's the best way to do this? What materials? Should, like, I don't know other company that you could do that with. It's well, crazy you. awesome. You knew Shay by name. You asked, she's not here today, doggone it. Her house is close to a fire, so she, yeah. she they're on evacuation status. But um, how did you know Shay? Did you deal with her? I've, I've talked name? to her several times, yeah. yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. so she's really cool. And I called up. Uh, anonymously, one of your co other customer service people, another time with another question. Yeah. And they answered it, and yeah, so it was great. Cool, very cool. Marcy, uh, did you? So we already talked about your YouTube channel, we talked about your website, uh, mm -hmm. Etsy. Anything else you want to talk about before we wrap this up? Um, no, I would just say, uh, well, as with Stone Coat, who are available at any time with questions about resin, I am available with any, at any time with questions about acrylic pouring or building up a YouTube channel or any of those things. I pretty much have videos that cover everything, but you can always, you know, email me or Facebook me or Instagram me or awesome. any of those. I'm, I, I get a little slow sometimes or backlog behind, but I I answer everything. I answer every email, every question. That's huge. I, I like to help. So you know that don't feel afraid to contact me. Go for it. I think that's really cool. You're not too big for your britches. You know you're no. you're really um, connected with your audience and, and I think that's one of the keys to your success. So congratulations yeah, on that. And uh, you know, meeting you in person you're an amazing human being. So oh. I'm very glad that you've, oh. you've, you've come out here. We're going to come see fuzzy. you in October, right? Yes, I have to clean my house for the next month. <laughs> no, you don't. I come do. on, man. No, we're going. I so. started a month ago. <laughs> still going. Hey, hey, you're an artist, man. You're an artist. <laughs> I'm like, I either have to like burn the place down and start all over. Maybe I have to buy a new house. <laughs> no. Like, I'm very nervous. Well, we're, <laughs> if you'll have us, we're coming out to yes. see Marcy and hers, and, and we're going to rock out another another uh, acrylic something. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm going to teach you guys everything. Yes. Very cool. Well, I'm excited for tonight. Live at 5. We better go get ready for that. Mm -hmm. um, guys, go visit Marcy's channel. Go watch some of her videos. Tell her Stone Coat Countertops sent you. And until next time, from the Dominate DIY Podcast, you, you got, got this. this. Yes. We'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, round two worked. Dominate D I Y.